Hi guys, it's another beautiful day to take a river cruise. We did a river cruise in Launceston before and this time we are cruising River Derwent in Hobart. Let the Derwent River set you free for one hour. Welcome to Dvox YouTube channel. Thank you for cruising with Hobart Historic Cruises. We will be setting off soon on our cruise around Hobart and the River Derwent. As the crew prepare to depart, we ask that you take a moment to please listen carefully to these safety instructions. In the event of an emergency, crew will deploy an inflatable life raft from the front of the vessel. Please leave your belongings on board as they will slow you down. From Hobart Historic Cruises, we wish you a pleasant cruise around our stunning Hobart Harbour and the River Derwent. We will be departing soon. Two route options. Southern route in green, northern route in yellow. We chose yellow route because it goes under Tasman Bridge. We are taking the one hour afternoon cruise. They also have one and a half hours lunch cruise with one course meal and a dinner cruise of two hours with three course meal. We are now leaving from the port of the city of Hobart, claimed to be the deepest sheltered harbour in the Southern Hemisphere. The River Derwent, 239 kilometres long, 3 kilometres wide, originates at Lake St. Clair and runs through Derwent Bridge, New Norfolk, Bridgewater and Hobart. Historical buildings, sites and geography form historical value alongside the river. Please subscribe my channel to get notified about the latest updates and to watch more travel videos. Link to the video of Launceston River Cruise is in the description box below. We are now crossing the finish line of Sydney to Hobart Yacht Race. Yay! But at the diesel power. Sydney to Hobart Yacht Race is an iconic summer sport in Australia. One of the pinnacles for sailing competitors since its inception in 1945. It is good fun, but 1998 race has become a disaster due to bad weather. It was the 54th annual running, the most disastrous in the race's history, with the loss of 6 lives and 5 yachts. 55 sailors were rescued in the largest peacetime search and rescue effort ever seen in Australia. Mount Wellington stands overlooking the entire city of Hobart. Mount Wellington is a popular tourist destination due to stunning views from the top. I have done a separate video, just have a look.
there you see the Tasman Bridge in distance. We will be going under the bridge today. There is a bit of history about Tasman Bridge. It was initially a floating bridge installed in 1943 and the Tasman Bridge was opened in 1964. On 5th January 1975, a cargo ship hit a pylon of the Tasman Bridge, brought down 240 feet of the bridge and sank. Seven of the ship's crew were killed and five motorists died when four cars drove over the collapsed section before the traffic was stopped. The ferry in front of us is coming from Mona Museum taking passengers to Hobart City. Mona Museum is located in Berrydale. You can drive yourself or you can take the ferry from the city of Hobart. Mona is the largest privately funded museum in the Southern Hemisphere. Mona, the name M-O-N-A, stands for the Museum of Old and New Art, M-O-N-A. We will be crossing the bridge soon. I was taking a video of us crossing the bridge, uh, but unfortunately I have not pressed the recording button. Here's a close-up of the ferry coming from Mona Museum. Anyway, I have a small video clip of us crossing the bridge on our way back. You will see it later. Yeah, baby! Now you know, there was a floating bridge crossing the Derwent River and it was collapsed. Reconstruction of the Tasman Bridge you see today has commenced in 1975 with improved safety measures. One of the main safety measures that has been implemented is all road traffic is now halted while large vessels transit beneath the bridge. The bridge was further upgraded to have a fifth lane and this upgrade included the construction of a lane management system that enabled the new middle lane to function as a reversible lane. The bridge was further upgraded with LED lighting in 2019, spanning almost 3 kilometers, utilizing 1930 LEDs. This project was completed in 2021 and the lights are remotely programmable. Here you see the remains of the collapsed floating bridge. Turn it up. Don't stop, 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 turn it up. Don't stop,
together with their furniture, are unequaled in Australia. The ballroom had a splendid hue and pine floor. Its three mirrors were the largest in the southern hemisphere when they were installed. Don't stop, turn it up. Don't stop, turn it up. Don't stop, turn it up. 